I met a guy who flew. Uh, he was a polio victim, and I was a polio victim when I was a kid. You know, I had, I had polio when I was about six or something or other. And uh, I met this uh, guy who had become a polio victim in Africa, which is quite a major thing there. And he had a stick by which he moved and by which he flew. And he had to go and get someone so that we could uh, talk with him. And that was the first time in Africa that I saw someone actually flying above the ground. When I left uh, that particular arena in Africa, I'd been living there for about uh, four weeks. It was in North Dakota, which is up near Tacan. And uh, as we drove away in the Land Rover, the, the uh, warriors who would sort of be wandering around in the bush, because that's what warriors do there, finding themselves, were actually flying. Uh, and they were like a, a body of people flying alongside the Land Rover and they followed me right out the Rift Valley, um, like crows, they looked like crows. Uh, and they were sort of saying, there's a thing in Africa where you never say goodbye to someone, you don't follow them on, on you, you have to stop on your route, because if you if you follow them too far, then you'll never come back again. That's the theory. Uh, but these guys followed me until I was out of the cop, until I was out of the territory, and they were in the air. Uh, like probes, that's all I can say. And I remember we were one night, uh, we, we got visited by a wolf. We, we were on this beach completely on our own, just two of us, and we got visited by a wolf and it spoke to us. Um, there was two ways of, there was one way of surviving and that was speaking back. And that was speaking back through one's own tongue. And I think what Mankey taught me was to speak your own tongue. I, I travelled uh, through Kenya for, I don't remember how long, and maybe it was sort of like two or three months, and uh, I'd met no white man except my brother. And when I came back to Holland, uh, people were blue. And uh, at first I couldn't understand that, you know, they, were, they, they weren't just, it wasn't as if their flesh was blue, it was almost like they were encased in blue. And then I realised that their auric body you know, had been actually contained by Catholic Ray. You know, that they had actually taken on that, that being. Huh? No. No. no.